February 15, 2024 marked a historic moment for the United States Air Force with the return of TU-2S Dragon Lady 1078 to the skies after 1,030 days of absence. This iconic reconnaissance aircraft, known as the Silver Dragon, has undergone an extensive maintenance process for nearly three years in collaboration between 9th Maintenance Group and Lockheed Martin. Accident and Recovery On April 21, 2021, 1078 suffered a flight accident that caused damage to its wings. Luckily, there were no fatalities, but the aircraft could not be flown to U.S. Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, where Lockheed Martin normally conducts depot-level maintenance PDM, programs. With 1078 stranded at Beale Air Force Base, the bold decision was made to conduct wing repairs and the entire PDM work on site. A small team of Lockheed Martin technicians and DET-4 personnel worked hard to complete the PDM restoration on 1078. <laughs> Unique PDM process Every seven years, the U-2 undergoes a PDM at Factory 42, where the entire aircraft is refurbished for another seven years of service. The process typically involves complete disassembly, engine and wing removal, replacement of parts and components, reassembly, repainting, flight test, and return to BLAFB. However, for 1078, this entire process was done at Beale, before being painted in the U-2's iconic black color. This marked the first time since 2014 that a silver U-2 flew before being repainted. Test flight and return to Beale. After a series of tests, 1078 was declared ready to fly to Palmdale for a fresh coat of paint. The flight test included a taxi test, a low functional check flight, and a high functional check flight that took the aircraft to its limits. Lieutenant Carl Joshua, 1st Reconnaissance Squadron Student Flight Commander, emphasized that the restoration of 1078 returns a valuable asset to the 1st RS allowing access to three two-seat training aircraft. This increases aircraft availability for new U-2 pilots, especially after the retirement of TU-2S 1065 in 2023 and the tragic loss of 1068 in 2016. Brendan's solo flight to Palmdale in 1078 marked the aircraft's official return to active service. 1078 returned to Beale on March 21 with a fresh coat of black paint, ready to carry out its important reconnaissance mission for years to come. The return of TU-2S Dragon Lady 1078 is a testament to the dedication and hard work of 9th Maintenance Group, Lockheed Martin, and DET-4. This story demonstrates the U.S. Air Force's determination to maintain and modernize its vital reconnaissance assets, ensuring their ability to gather critical information for national security. TU-2S Dragon Lady 1078, a symbol of resilience and innovation. The return of TU-2S Dragon Lady 1078 to the skies is not only a landmark event for the U.S. Air Force, but also a symbol of resilience and innovation. The aircraft has been an integral part of the reconnaissance community for decades, and its recovery is a testament to the Air Force's commitment to maintaining its technological edge. The story of the 1078 shows that even after experiencing significant obstacles, such as accidents and travel restrictions, the U.S. Air Force was able to overcome these challenges with determination and ingenuity. By combining in-house engineering expertise and a strong partnership with Lockheed Martin, the Air Force was able to recover 1078 in an innovative and cost-effective manner. The successful recovery of 1078 is also a testament to the importance of collaboration. A team of Air Force and Lockheed Martin personnel work together seamlessly to achieve a common goal. This partnership reflects the strong spirit of cooperation required to keep advanced reconnaissance assets like the U-2 in top condition.
the return of the 1078 to active service is good news for the reconnaissance community. This aircraft provides unique and invaluable reconnaissance capabilities critical to protecting national security. With the 1078 back in operation, the U.S. Air Force has a greater ability to gather critical intelligence information and maintain its lead in the field of aerial reconnaissance. Overall, TU-2S Dragon Lady 1078 is more than just an airplane. It is a symbol of resilience, innovation, and collaboration. Its return to space is a reminder of the U.S. Air Force's commitment to maintaining its technological edge and protecting national security. Bright future for TU-2S Dragon Lady 1078. The return of TU-2S Dragon Lady 1078 signals the beginning of a new chapter in its long and distinguished history. With a successful restoration and fresh paint, the aircraft is ready to serve the U.S. Air Force for years to come. 1078 will continue to play an important role in the Air Force's reconnaissance missions. Its ability to fly at extreme altitudes and gather invaluable intelligence information makes it a valuable asset to the reconnaissance community. In addition to its primary role in reconnaissance, the 1078 can also be used for a variety of other missions, such as scientific research and testing new technologies. Its unique and versatile capabilities make it an ideal platform for a wide variety of tasks. The U.S. Air Force continues to invest in modernizing and upgrading its U-2 fleet. With the development of new technologies and continuous improvement, the 1078 and other U-2 aircraft will continue to provide unrivaled reconnaissance capabilities for years to come. The future of the TU-2S Dragon Lady 1078 is bright. With a successful recovery, its unique capabilities, and the U.S. Air Force's commitment to modernization, this aircraft will continue to play a critical role in protecting national security and advancing scientific exploration for years to come. TU-2S Dragon Lady 1078, a legacy that continues. The return of TU-2S Dragon Lady 1078 to space not only marks an important milestone in aviation history, but also the continuation of a rich and inspiring legacy. Since it was first launched in 1957, the U-2 has been an icon of technological innovation and excellence. It has played a pivotal role in many important historical events, including the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Vietnam War and the Cold War. Its ability to fly at extreme altitudes and gather invaluable intelligence has earned it a reputation as one of the most effective reconnaissance aircraft in the world. Beyond its military role, the U-2 also made significant contributions to mapping and scientific research. Its ability to explore hard-to-reach areas and capture high-resolution images has helped scientists in a variety of fields, including geology, meteorology, and archaeology.